Let's write a C program to check if the user entered year is a leap year or not. A leap year is exactly divisible by 4, except for century years, I mean years ending with 00. zero. The century year is a leap year only if it is perfectly divisible by 400. In this program we will be using ternary operator. So general syntax of ternary operator is shown on your screen. If expression 1 condition is true then expression 2 will be executed. If expression 1 condition is false then expression 3 will be executed. This program is special because expression 2 is also a nested ternary operator and expression 3 is also a nested ternary operator. So I'll go slowly, please track the uh, logic and write it down for yourself also. So I'll take an integer variable called year and ask the user to enter the year and I'll store it inside the address of variable year. So the general form of ternary operator. First let me check if the user entered year is a century year. So it must be perfectly divisible by 100. If this is true then this year must be perfectly divisible by 400. So again if it's perfectly divisible by 100 I need to check one more condition that is the year should be perfectly divisible by 400 so i'll write nested ternary operator here okay so i'll check year is perfectly divisible by 400 if this is also true then the user entered year is a leap year let me indent this down i'll bring this down too so i'll write printf statement here if both these conditions that is year perfectly divisible by 100 and perfectly divisible by 400 if both these conditions are true then the user entered year is a leap year if not it's not a leap year the expression 3 I'll write it's not a leap year okay so now if both these conditions are false or else if year is not perfectly divisible by 100 then we must check if the year is perfectly divisible by 4. So I'll write nested ternary operator once again here. So I'll check if the year is perfectly divisible by 4. If it's not a century year and if it's perfectly divisible by 4 then it's a leap year. I'll copy this statement here. So if the year is not perfectly divisible by 100, not even perfectly divisible by 4 then it's not a leap year. So that's it. So please go through the logic once again. I'll execute this program and show you the results so don't get confused we have expression 1 and expression 2 is a nested ternary operator and expression 3 is also a nested ternary operator so i think it must work right now i'll let let us check for the output so let us save it let's compile it and run the program I'll give 2000 which is leap year. Let's give 2019 which is not a leap year by the way. Is not a leap year. So 2004 is a leap year. Let me enter that. Yeah, it's a leap year. So please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and more discussion about this topic. Also stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.